April 1982. History. Edward J. Emerson has been a staple in the automotive industry for many years, with Edward J. Emerson passing the company control to his son, Christopher E. J. Emerson, in December 1974. Edward, Christopher's father, was born in August 1870. Around 1885, he became interested in the work that was done to create the Fartier of Vapeur back in 1769. Edward's father and mother named their children after various public figures at the time. They chose Edward after the Prince of Wales, who toured North America in 1860, and James after the 20th United States President Garfield, who served from 1831 to 1881. Edward James Emerson learned all that he could about automobiles by purchasing a Phaeton from Derfia Automotive and naming it DJT. He would drive the vehicle around the Midwest to find investors. Once he found one, he would then purchase another one from Derfia Automotive. Afterward, he would purchase vehicles from Clyde Motors, Derfia Automotive, and Caras Erica until he obtained the capital needed to purchase the building of what is now Emerson Motor Company's Detroit factory. During his purchase of automobiles, some of the purchasers started selling the vehicles that Edward sold to them, starting the Emerson and Allure dealer network. Edward invested time and money to launch the third division, Emerson Performance, in 1901 when the network was finished. Emerson Performance is denoted by three bars. Brothers and sisters who frequented their father's workplace at 497 Paquette helped nurture Christopher there. By the time Christopher was 37 years old, he had transformed into one of the owners of the company, and he shared the responsibility with his brothers. Global leaders, BW, Gus Board, Fred London, Caddy, and Draco Motors make up 31.3% of the global auto market. BW and Gus Board are headquartered in Germany. Fred London's is headquartered in Buffalo, New York. Draco Motors is headquartered in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And Caddy is in Detroit, Michigan. Emerson Focus. The largest auto markets consist of the compact, coupe, coupe 2 plus 2, full-size, hatchback, mid-size, subcompact and van segments, of which Emerson currently sells in three of those markets. Emerson will have to enter the subcompact segment to compete with the global leaders in the largest markets. Gus Board sells 1,235,136 of the 5,691,869 subcompacts globally in 34 different countries that reside in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia. Gus Board's umbrella of subcompact vehicles consists of the following. Grofry's H2042 has a 37 horsepower four-cylinder 852 cubic centimeters engine, a three-speed manual gearbox, front engine rear-wheel drive, a top speed of 52 miles per hour, 50 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and a combined fuel economy of 20.4 miles per gallon. Grofry's 4725 has a 38 horsepower four-cylinder 915 cubic centimeters engine, a four-speed manual gearbox, front-wheel drive, a top speed of 72 miles per hour, 20 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and a combined fuel economy of 35.8 miles per gallon. The GKK H5477 has a 37 horsepower four-cylinder 860 cubic centimeters engine, a three-speed manual gearbox, front mid-engine rear-wheel drive, a top speed of 88 miles per hour, 9 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and a combined fuel economy of 52.2 miles per gallon. GKK H5477-3554 has a 37 horsepower four-cylinder 860 cubic centimeters engine, a four-speed automatic gearbox, front mid-engine rear-wheel drive, a top speed of 75 miles per hour, 16 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and a combined fuel economy of 26 miles per gallon. Gusboard 7029 has a 32 horsepower four-cylinder 746 cubic centimeters engine, a three-speed automatic gearbox, front engine rear-wheel drive, a top speed of 48 miles per hour, 43 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and a combined fuel economy of 18.7 miles per gallon. Shield P3796 has a 37 horsepower four-cylinder 763 cubic centimeters engine, a four-speed automatic gearbox, front engine rear-wheel drive, a top speed of 54 miles per hour, 50 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and a combined fuel economy of 19.7 miles per gallon. Design Emerson engineers finished the design of the upcoming 1984 Emerson BKA subcompact. The BKA hatchback is 145 inches long and has a cargo capacity of 20 cubic feet. The engineers utilized a modified BKB unibody chassis, which gives the BKA a front engine, rear-wheel drive configuration. The transmission choice for the BKA is the Emerson E4A automatic that is mated to the E1100 generation 7 single overhead cam 4-cylinder engine that yields a fuel economy rating of 26.6 miles per gallon. This configuration gives this 2,411-pound hatchback a 60-speed time of 14.331 seconds, a 65.3982 miles per hour quarter-mile time of 21.5443 seconds, a top speed of 85 miles per hour, and a stopping distance of 136 feet. The 1984 Emerson BKA will go on sale through the Emerson and Allure dealer networks in November 1983. May 1982, Financial, Emerson Motor Company reports a cash flow of minus $4,989,362, 
which is attributed to the $30,231,629 in research and design costs incurred by entering the subcompact market and the multiple redesigns. During this time period, we have an $860,252 tax bill and ongoing construction at the Detroit and New York manufacturing facilities. Global sales are down by minus 6.1917216284%. European sales are down by minus 1.7006802721%. North American sales are down by minus 6.5135266878%. Design. The 1981 Emerson Performance Bay 506 sold well, with profits north of $19 million for the model year. It was renamed the BL5 for the 1982 model and received a minor refresh to thank the customers who purchased it. The 1983 Emerson Performance BL5 is based on the Allure Bay SP but replaces the engine with an EP Generation 7 double overhead cam engine made it to a 6-speed manual transmission. The lower grille has been replaced to increase engine airflow. The wheels go from Allure Silver to Black Race wheels wrapped in aggressive performance tires. The performance stats are a rapid sprint to 60 in 11.969 seconds, a 19.8874 second quarter mile at 70.8467 miles per hour, a top speed of 101 miles per hour, and a stopping distance of 132 feet from 60. The Emerson performance improves on the already sporty Bay SP by reducing weight by 3.25%, increasing horsepower by 31.25%, and increasing handling by 21.33%. The improvements over the 1982 BL5 are a 28.74% increase in horsepower, a 0.197% reduction in weight, and a 13.64% increase in handling. The 1981 Emerson Performance Essence 506 sold well, with profits north of $17 million for the model year. As with the BL5, the Essence 506 changed names with a mild refresh to EL5 in 1982. Sales for the 1982 models are not selling as well as the 1981 models, resulting in a change in marketing demographics for the model. The results of adding the EP Generation 8 engine to the 1983 Emerson Performance EL5 are a reduction in weight of 0.19% and an increase in luxury of 1%. These results translate to a luxury saloon that can accelerate to 60 in 10.449 seconds while passing the quarter mile in 18.7222 seconds at 75.2563 miles per hour on the way to a top speed of 108. The stopping distance is 132 feet from 60, and the drag coefficient is 0.406. The 1983 Emerson Performance C5 turbo trim of the C5 is one of the quickest accelerating vehicles at a time of 5.992 seconds with a curb weight of 2,515 pounds. The turbo will decelerate from 60 miles per hour in 101 feet and then accelerate to the quarter mile in 15.0941 seconds at 93.3453 miles per hour. The only difference in outer appearance between the Emerson Performance C5 and the C5 Turbo is the hood heat extractors. June 1982, Financial. Emerson Motor Company has a cash flow of $9,545,001 per the monthly summary, with a total tax of $13,525,335. The quarterly report gives a 106.674% loss of net income compared to 1981, with an increase in sales of 31.427% and a reduction of 46.355% in operating profit. Thank you, Edward J. Emerson, CEO of Emerson Motor Company.